Good evening. Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. The victims were in airplanes, with offices, secretaries, businessmen and women, military and federal workers, entrepreneurs, friends and neighbors. Thousands of lives were suddenly ended by evil, despicable acts of terror. The pictures of airplanes flying in the buildings, fires burning, huge Jewish structures collapsing, and fears with disbelief, terrible sadness, and quiet, unyielding anger. These acts of mass murder were intended to frighten our nation into chaos and retreat. But they have failed. Our country is strong. A great people has been moved to defend a great nation. Terrorist attacks can shape the foundations of our biggest buildings, but they cannot touch the foundation of America. These acts share the steel, but they cannot dent the steel of American resolve. America is targeted for attack because we're the widest beacon for freedom and opportunity in the world. And no one will keep that light from shining. Today our nation saw evil, the very worst of human nature, and we responded with the best of America, with the aid of our rescue workers, with the caring of for strangers and neighbors who came to get blood and help in any way they could. Immediately following the first attack, we implemented our government's emergency response plans. Our military is powerful and is prepared. Our emergency teams are working in New York City and Washington, D.C. to help with local rescue efforts. Our first priority is to get help to those who have been injured and to take every precaution to protect our citizens at home and around the world from cyber attacks. The functions of our government continue without interruption. Federal agencies in Washington, which had to be evacuated today, are reopening for essential personnel tonight and will be open for business tomorrow. Our financial institutions will be strong, and the American economy will be open for business as well. The search is underway for the who are behind these evil acts. I'm directing the full resources of our intelligence and law enforcement communities to find those responsible and to bring them to justice. We will make no distinction between the terrorists who committed these acts and those who harbor them. I appreciate some members and members of Congress for joining me strongly condemning these attacks. And on behalf of the American people, I thank the many more members who have called to offer their condolences and assistance. America and our friends and allies join with all those who want peace and security in the world. And we stand together to win the war against terrorism. And I have asked for your prayers, for your words of grief, for the children whose worlds have been shattered, for all whose sense of safety and security has been threatened. When I pray they will be comforted by a power greater than any of us, spoken through the ages in Psalm 23. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me.